Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. We are going to get into this episode, but before we do, very excited about this episode, by the way. Before we do, i got to plug a few things. That's just how it works. We are doing a live Tea With Me. It's our third one. You know, we started from the bottom, now we're here. We did a room to about 120 people. We did Limelight 2. Amazingly, it sold out. My guests were Kieran and Dave. Then we did the big limelight to about 400, 450 people with Mickey and William. That went in like an hour. So we're just pushing things to see how far we can go. Until someone's like, stop doing this, we're going to keep trying. We are doing the waterfront hall, the main auditorium of the waterfront hall with this podcast, which is a mad thing to say. Also, just realized the kind of color scheme for this podcast is purple, and my jumper is a lovely purple, and that's so cute. Who knows what I'm going to wear on the 9th of September when we do the Waterfront Hall. My guests are going to be Kieran Bartlett and Dave Elliott. There might be fun things happening, there might be surprises, there will be, we were just talking about it. (laughs) There are. (laughs) So you can come to that. We've sold... uh, way over half the tickets, you can go on the Waterfront website and see that, links in the description down below, Uh, sometimes people lie about ticket sales, I mean we've all done it, but you can see that somehow people are coming to this, so if you want to get a ticket, do do that, because uh, I think it's going to sell out, and thank you so much to anyone who's got one so far, or told a mate about it, anything like that, we're doing the Waterfront Hall live with the podcast, we also are on Patreon, Patreon.com slash Tea With Me Podcast. Now, anyone who's coming to the podcast was able to get an advance ticket if they wanted it, if they were a member of the Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, I can't really describe it because I don't know what it is. It's bonus stuff. It's extra content. You support the podcast, and in return for doing that, we're able to get nice things for the set, nice equipment. Um, We're able to get Mike just went to Turkey to have his fucking earlobes done. We've got it all. We're able to do it all. Thanks to your support. You get a bonus episode on a Monday. We do a live stream every single Friday. And tickets for events like the live podcast go on pre-sale exclusively on Patreon. So head over there and have a look. You can be a, a sipper or you can be an executive producer. Which you can you can put that on your LinkedIn if you want. I don't think it's going to help you get a job anywhere, but you can if you want. So your support for the podcast is appreciated. Now, i got two ads to do. Here's number one. Thompson's Tea, Punjana, sip it up, this you know, this weekend friends of yours are probably making plans, oh mate, we're going to have 50 beers, shut up you nerd, you know, you don't want to make a statement at a house party, you bring your own teapot, you bring a few bags of Punjana and you say, where can I plug this in? And that's weird that it's not a kettle you have. <laughs> you bring an electric, that is a statement, you bring an electric teapot and a few tea bags and you say, get me a source for this. But tea, everyone knows tea is the greatest drink on the planet. It's a fact. We're fueled by it on the podcast. On a Friday we record 80 a podcast and we drink 9,000 cups of tea. And we always make sure it's Punjana. They're Northern Ireland's number one selling tea. They make it right here in Belfast. Right here, it's a local product, and you have to support local. Don't you? I everything I buy is local, and you're probably going the Adidas jumper you just mentioned. Is that not German? If you look very closely, you'll see that the da is is spelt. This is made by local fathers. It's Adidas. It's not Adidas. This is made. By local fathers in Shankle. <laughs> I, everything, this watch, I'm wearing a G-Shock Casio watch. Someone recently went, oh, you're rocking a very expensive watch. Colin Geddes gave me it, thinks it's worth £120 or something. But this looks like a G-Shock, but it's made in Castle Rock. Local product. I'm put, I'm getting away from the product. Punjana, Northern Ireland's number one selling tea. Keep drinking it. People send me Instagram pictures and all of them, bringing it into work and replacing whatever substandard shit they had in there before. Keep doing that. It's a takeover. Punjana, we appreciate your support. Thanks to everyone at Thompson's Tea. We are also sponsored. Some people also listen at this point going, is he trying to break the record for uh, pre-guest ad rates? Yes. And this won't be happening on the live. Imagine at the waterfront, I did a 29-minute read. 
I've got to get my boss mate the Coric. We are also, uh, Dave Elliott doesn't even talk like it. We are also sponsored by Manscaped. Now it's coming into the summer. May already be summer. I don't really know how seasons work. Sometimes I just see the sun out and I go, it's summer now, but it doesn't work like that. But if, if you like things that work easily, Manscaped is for you. The number one in men's below the belt grooming products. Now, I'm a hypocrite. I'm not practicing what I preach at the minute. It's time for a summer cut. I'm like, you know those sheep that the, that have been missing for a while and they finally get them and they do like an unbelievable transformation? That's what that's what I that's what needs to happen with me at the minute. But coming in the summer, I'm gonna keep it streamlined. You know, at the minute I'm like um at the minute I'm like who's who's a hairy celebrity? The hairy at the minute I'm a hairy biker. And what I need to be is a smooth biker, which isn't a show. <laughs> the smooth bikers. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Let's finance it. Basically, I need to trim pubes. That's what I'm trying to say. In time for summer. Everybody has to, you're going away on holiday? We shave before you go. And don't fear new products. Don't fear Manscaped's technology. It's all so easy to use. A lot of it's wireless charging technology. There's wee LED lights if you like to do it in the dark. Like Mike does. Likes to run about his house, turn all the power... Goes, goes outside, turns the po- the mains power off to the house. Gets his partner to arm him with nothing but a Manscaped 4.0. And he runs around the house, giggling, pretending that zombies are coming to get him while he's shaving his pew. I, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, use the code T with me, get 20% off and free shipping. They've got the Lawnmower 4.0. They've got... Uh, The Weed Whacker for your nose and ear hair. They've got cologne. They've got everything you need to go into 2022. And we are going to do a giveaway. People lose their minds when they do this. As if you can't just go on manscaped.com and use a code T with me for 20% off and free shipping. People are like, no, competition's the only way. If you write in the description for this podcast on YouTube, what are we going with, Dan? Summer pubes. If you write summer pubes, which sounds like an old Dickens character... (laughs) We stopped at Summer Pubes Lemonade Stall. How does that taste? If you write Summer Pubes, we will pick a winner at random. And on our next episode record, we'll do... We'll show you how we're... It'll be a few weeks down the line. We'll pick the winner and you'll watch the process for us doing that. Just comment Summer Pubes and we'll give away a free Lawnmower 4.0. A performance package. Who doesn't like getting their hands on a big package? I do. Dan does. Thank you very much for listening to these messages. Let's get into this episode. My guests, plural, are Jamie Lee O'Donnell and Saoirse Jackson. They are from the hit television program, Derry Girls. Jamie Lee's been on a load of times on the podcast. This is the first time Saoirse's been on. It's going to be a great time. I want to ask them questions about the show, but questions that they haven't been asked before. I don't want to do stock questions. Oh, is it good Is it good for the city and all, is it? No. I want to ask different questions. I've met uh, these two before. Always a great laugh. Really looking forward to having them both on the sofa for what hopefully will be a great episode of the Tea With Me podcast. I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm excited about everything that's happening. Let's get stuck into this episode. This is a Tea With Me podcast with my guests, Jimmy Lee and Saoirse. Action. I feel like what music is about to come on now. What music? I don't know, just some sort of like theme tune. I, I think you guys could do a bit of percussion first. Let's see what's, let's see what's on the back. You, you want, you want a bass line? <laughs> That's such like uh, an actor's thing to walk into a room. Can what you, about can be you part of please, it? please beatbox for us? Yes, because looking at me, you know I can. Uh, exactly. What, what sort of beat do you want? What? Beatboxing does Protestant Street? What? Hmm? <laughs> what's it's your vibe? What's your flavour? It's drum. It's <laughs> 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 gorgeous. Traditional. I can do oh, a wee flute. I can do anything. A wee flute? Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll work on that. I was really hoping everybody would go. Did you do theatre as a kid? Oh, I did theatre. You can tell. You walk in, you're like, give me a beat. I love a grip magic. Group magic? I just like really creating something together, you know, right, yeah. all being part of it. No do one's you, left behind. Do you do theatre as good? Uh, yes, obviously. Um, we yeah. used to, our thing was to make up dances because we all thought we were in Usher videos. Right. And we all thought we were class and just bring our own flavour to it. And in a way we were. Do you think now you're at a level of fame where you could get into an Usher video? Because I think you could. Mm, 
I thousand, like, thousand percent. I think it would be pretty random casting, to be honest. Not I me. don't think so. Not me. I would do it as a video. Yeah. Dancing I would do it obviously. if I was asked. Yeah. But I think I would just steal the limelight away from Usher. So I'd be like, what's that Derry Gear doing in the middle of the Usher video? Yeah. I just wouldn't do that to him. Yeah. Especially for his comeback. You're a wild good person. I am. Where is he these days? My house. He's in Derry. So it would use could be in the video. Yeah. We are. We're going to be like. When he shoots his next video. When I let him out of the basement. What do you call that? Uh. Ship Key? Ship Key Street. That's where he's going to shoot his next video. Uh, that would be a great location, actually. I know you're being smart, but it would. I know. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not being. If there's one thing you can never accuse me of, it's being smart. Fair ever. enough. Even with that hair. Hmm? You've you think really, this is a smart haircut? You've really smart middle class hair. I've said yeah. this to you before. That's where, that's where I go wrong. So you trick people? Because people see my hair and they go, let's ask that guy a fact. Yes. And then I don't know it. You, go, I you, am, you can trust him. I am thick. I bet you he's no points on his license. But I'm um, <laughs> absolutely not. You don't need a license for, I use bicycle, but <laughs> I, I'm i quite thick, but I'm smart at being thick, if that makes sense. You're like funny thick? Yes. Okay. But then so I'm not actually smart. Okay. I'm thick as a joke. I think I'm, you're double bluffing us and this is a whole no, big manipulation No, these here. guys are not my you. art teacher? <laughs> I do look like an art teacher a little bit. Who not like science or something? Yeah. Like you've just graduated, now you're in the science department, but you're going to move up to like maths or something. Like I, I, I like went, to, I went to the school. Your downtime. I went to the school and stayed in the. Yes. As a teacher, like straight away, we became a teacher. Just went and done your your work experience on there, and then yeah. just sort of switched departments, see where you feel best. Yeah. We sort of followed out. I always felt bad for young teachers. I, I did too, because we just gave them the worst time. Oh. Our school, they did. Oh, they were just. Oh my god! Did you just go to school together. No, no, we were just went to the same school. Oh. There's like three schools to pick from. No, it's not. <laughs> but any time there was like a young teacher, if he was male, he was automatically hot. He could look like yeah. the back end of a bastard's ball bag. Yeah. But because he was a man, every yeah. year was like, oh my God, there he is. Just and we're so starved. And rumours as well that went around about them that they were dating sex formers, which is so dangerous. I know. Yeah. And they probably weren't. Yeah. Uh, and teachers probably being raped when they weren't. Uh, probably not. Yeah. yeah. But you, you know, just all year school, you get a bit bored, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I know, I, I know. I went you know. to an all-girls school. <laughs> you That's what you look like, the sort of guy that would go to an all-girls school. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and for some reason, For like, safety. wear the skirt and all, and they're like, you don't need, you can just wear your own trousers. Like, I'm like, no, 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 yeah. I'm going all in. <laughs> I was commenting your, uh, I love that ensemble. Thank you. Ensemble. Really nice. It's ensemble. Who is it? It's Levi's. Oh. But I got it in Amsterdam, so it's, I don't think it's a one-off, but I think it's... Specific to the region. Yeah. They made it for. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just start. Just put that out there. Have you ever been sent uh, like bespoke things? Do you just get sent like things that people make? Like, do you ever someone be like, oh, "I've made you this cap"? Collages of myself have been sent. Does that count as bespoke? When it's you have any of them up? It does. Do I have any of them up? Yeah. No, I always end up signing them and then forget to go to the post office to send them back to them. Yeah. So they just sort of end up collected. You're hoarding them? I'm hoarding them. I know yeah. I'm better to hoard them photos of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> and I draw them too, which is really. <laughs> There's people send you stuff like they'll send you letters and be like, "Can you um, can you send me a signed photo?" Oh, or people just sort of ask, you know, can I, and I'm like, I don't have a stack of photos of myself. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, really, why not? And I'm like, I don't know, why, why do Because it's not Hollywood <laughs> in 1960. That's as well. They just think you just sort of sit at a desk at, at, a, at a bureau yeah. with a feather pen and just sort of like, dear John, and just sort of start Same signing black and stuff. Yeah. That's black the thing, and white, like if that. I had a higher profile, I would definitely have a stack of black and whites in my car. Yeah, like, yeah no worries, I'll sort you out. <laughs> now, I said to you earlier, just before we recorded, I was going to maybe show you something, but mm -hmm. I need to find out if legally I can. Okay. So, do you remember last time you were on, I said, like, I, I auditioned for, for the show. Yes. And was And I didn't know I hadn't got it. And I said, Jamie Lee, oh, I. I've auditioned for this role. Fingers crossed. And you were like, yeah, you know, I really hope you get that. And I was like, I'm feeling good. And I told her the role. <laughs> and then she went, I don't think you've got that. I said, why? And you said, because we've already shot we've it. We've already shot it. We, we'll it had already been up. shot. Michael Hello. Michael Fry did it was the, it, oh, it, the episode's just been on now. Did you I, cry? Did I cry? Uh -uh. I cried in my audition. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> That's why I didn't get it. I I didn't I didn't cry right because on watching my audition back, I might not have nailed the Derry accent, but do you want to see a bit of my audition tape? Oh my god! Yes, please! Oh my god! Please do! No, I said to them beforehand. I was all for it. I was like, I'm going to show them my audition tape. And seconds before you arrived, I got so nervous and was like, No, no I show, can't. No, show, show but that's the most for doing vulnerable it. thing you can do. Is show, uh, no, big yeah. time. It really, it really is. No, yeah. here's what I'll say before this. <laughs> right. Just be honest. Done. 
I can, but not, <laughs> but also, but also not too honest. I wouldn't be shitty like that because it's a big, massive deal, especially to do yeah. a bit of work and audition for something, and then especially if you don't get it and you sell that way piece of work, it is. It's wild, vulnerable, as you say, and it's wild. No, let me also important. say this: I don't audition for. I haven't auditioned for many things, and I don't mean that in the way of I don't even audition. I just get the role. I mean, I haven't been asked <laughs> to audition for many things, <laughs> and I haven't got any roles. No. I got for some any reason roles. when I watched this back I was like when I watched Michael Friday I was like yes mm. that's what you're supposed to do I for some reason as you see wore a really really tight polo shirt <laughs> and just tried to look good just try to look like a rageous <laughs> yeah. but most of the time that can work not it, most of the time it hasn't that. worked yeah. here it, uh, yeah well um, and then also I think at the camera like whatever way I edit it like flipped the image Cause like my face and looks your cleft like goes that way instead yeah. of that way, and yeah. it just threw and you I off. And I think probably. that's why I didn't get it. <laughs> that would fuck you over as well. Now, before I show you that, <laughs> we also have an audition. Like I'm me doing this, by the way, I lose any work I would potentially get. I auditioned for Dungeons and Dragons when it was shooting here, and in it I had to like, what do I have to do? Then we shot here, swing an axe. No, you have to pick an axe out of like a cabinet or something. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so bad with stuff that doesn't exist. You know, yeah. and they're like, oh, I'll just it. pretend to pick up the axe. <laughs> I like really overdo it <laughs> and if it's for anything like Dungeons and Dragons from sci-fi I get really like breathy and yeah. I always do the same weird accent that isn't from anywhere Planet Earth yeah. just yeah so can we show can we show so is this the Dungeons and Dragons this first? is the Dungeons and Dragons one we'll cut this into the okay. episode this is oh are we actually going to get to see it now yeah oh my god I'm really excited what screen are we looking at can you just send it to all our phones that would be handy Airdrop at the dam. Okay, I'll show you the Dairy Girls one first. Sorry, is this bad? I'm drinking this one here. No, 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 no. That's fine. We don't have a sponsorship with them, but that's fine. Fingers crossed. <laughs> right. Now, here okay. we go. This is, oh my God. Like, because you don't want anyone, that you just want the pers- the casting Aye. director to see it and nobody else. But here it is. And if you think, I think I butcher the Dairy accent here. So and if you think that, just say it. It's fine. Which one is this? Is this the Dungeons and Dragons or the? No, this is Derry Girls one. Okay, first. okay. But great. some people in Derry do talk like you. But I don't talk like me in this. Oh, I had to. <laughs> I talk like I think people in Derry talk, uh, and I don't think they do. Uh, it's mad. It's such a close accent. People it's just so can't do close. it. Oh, here we go. No, I'll just play a bit of this and I'll play the whole thing. Here we go. It's the intonation, isn't it? I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Excited. Where are we watching it on? Just why? Well, just flip it around. Okay, here we go. I don't. Oh, can you turn it down? Any drinks or snacks? I'll have a Coke. And you look good on it. And, oh, I'll have a Kit Kat as well. Yes, me too. I'm afraid I don't have any Kit Kats. I can see Kit Kats. These are display Kit Kats. Display Kit Kats? Display only Kit Kats. I don't actually have any in the drawers. Can you buy display Kit Kats? No. <laughs> Why the fuck not? If I don't have them on display, how are people going to know they're available? <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying. I'm very fucking confused here. Forget the Kit Kats, I'll take a Mars bar. I'm afraid I don't have any Mars bars. <laughs> I take it those are display Mars bars? Correct. Okay, for how is it? What do you have that's not display? Trackers. <laughs> now that's why I didn't get it, because no one says trackers. No. <laughs> How bad was the accent? Be honest. It Let's wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Do you yeah. know what? Any advice we stuff I got? See if I'm doing audition, and I can't fully, fully nail it, and I think it's going to go against me. I'll just try and not. I'll just ask, because I'm not going to bother doing the accent. And you can always get an accent coach if you really need it. Yeah. No, that might be really bad advice. No, no. But no. I would. I mean, sometimes if you can't do it, and it's going to throw, not that that was, but if it's going to completely throw you off, and it's going to you're going to focus on that instead of the audition. I think that's what I did. Because it's not an accent test or a memory test; mm. it's a performance thing. So if you can nail your performance and just sort of put the accent to the side in your first audition, yeah. potentially, if you can't do it at all, yeah. I don't think your accent's song. bad. I, don't I just think it sounds like you need to cough. Yeah. Uh, sort of just sounds like you just need about. <coughs> Or something so you think I, I've had a cough before it? Like a wee cough with a We'd be castmates. Ah, you would have got it. Can you imagine that probably cough? No, it was good, fair play. And you did look good in the t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Fair play, good yeah. choice. I think, I think I got too smug after. I think I, I, <laughs> so think I put that on, yeah. saw myself back in the wee flip screen and went, we're all good. We're, all we're, all we're not getting the role, but we're all good. But you could have been an Abercrombie and Fetch model if you had yeah, a lot Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked for Hollister, but not in the... Not... During open on ours. Yeah. <laughs> when it was closed, I like restocked everything. Oh, okay. You still yeah. look like you work at Hollister as well? Yeah. yeah. You really do. Have What's you up, seen dude? the documentary? The hmm? About Dan Vercombe and Fetch and Hollister? No. 
that's desperate as in like the people who work there or the companies yeah the company and just when it was made around and everything about it well that's it i remember doing the induction in hollister and they show you this thing about yeah the dudes this was created in the 70s in malibu and all that and then they, a guy comes in and he goes by the way we just tell customers that like it wasn't like it this wasn't. was set up what? in like that's mental in the in the noughties yeah it's all like a lie it's all a big lie it's all a lie like planet earth yeah <laughs> what <laughs> everything's just bullshit isn't it some things surely some things aren't um my love for you is not bullshit i was just about oh. to say god's love and you oh. says my, love. my dairy accent your dairy accent spot on yeah and i am god <laughs> <laughs> god complex no actually, it wasn't that bad at all it was okay. good thank you um what else have you auditioned for then dungeons and dragons can we yeah. just go through your phone <laughs> oh god no <laughs> I think that that We've was got a good audition. Dragons. Okay, this, uh, this, is the, this is the last one. What? Please again, tell me. I can't be honest with you. And I'll I'm intrigued to see it. what you're wearing in this. I am. I'm excited. Okay. Guys, I found one. Are you English? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Are you English? Yeah. <laughs> Felt okay. One more. With that. <laughs> I didn't know that that was it. <laughs> I felt okay. One more. No I like more the way I'm like, I've got yeah. the roll, but I'll do one more, more just for the crack. Yeah. Just put a bit of flavour on this. Yeah, I try and for stuff like that, if they're like swinging axe, I get... I get I'm like, but you're really going for... Um, an action star. I mean, the the turn and the, your, your pose and uh, your jawline and all, it looks I'm great. The spirit stiff. is there. Uh, but it's about stuff, but it yeah. looks great. Like, you can yeah. hold on to that, but just move a wee bit. Yeah. Or just think about Cough what you're saying more and the emotion more of the, how it looks like. Yeah. Just act. Yeah. On yeah. top of being a ride, just <laughs> act as well. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, is fair it, play to you. Um, fair play to you for coming down for the day from Derry for this. Is it like, is it like an adventure? We did sort of make a road trip uh, out of it, didn't we? We make we wrap there should have absolutely every opportunity we're given in uh, every single playlist. Project. Yes or no? Um, no, because we couldn't. There was no time was for no anybody time. else's voice. That's my biggest fear. Yeah. Getting the long distance car journey. Being in a car go, journey, with us too, is your biggest fear. Well, if if there's no playlist, <laughs> when you go, what's a playlist? And someone goes, Nah, we'll just talk. Yeah. I have a, we, we talk. We didn't all have it. the time. Like <laughs> right. it was well, at one point we were talking at the same time. Yeah. About two different things and we just sort of but I could hear and I could still talk and yeah. So can change. Because like with your <laughs> speed of talking, you yeah. get through in a two hour journey. Oh a lot you of get through six hours. We could really run a country well, there'd be no fucking about, no yeah. down. We no get gaps. Issues. No we gaps. We get issues sorted fast. We can cover a lot of topics in this in the space of one cup of coffee. Like there's no time to think. You uh, just do. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly. Oh, so it comes so from an honest place. Yeah. 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 No, it's a lot. Are you, are you just going straight back after this? Are you gonna no, we're going to make the most of the fancy cafe to Belfast. No, also we do. We're going to get out of Hollywood. I'm going to be honest. Are you? <laughs> um, do we you also like, have fancy Hollywood cafes, before? but I think we might go into the city centre, Belfast, have a wee nose in Zara, uh, and go to a cafe. Zara. I love Zara. Mm. Everyone loves Zara. We did make the most love of Hollywood it. just before we got here. We went under a lovely cafe here. Yeah. Mm. Got a match at cafe. Yeah. That was nice. And there's a wee cafe and there's dogs in it, which is always happier. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I like the idea of dog cafe, but then when they're there, I'm like, don't have dogs here. No, they can't say food. I'm really weird with hair and food. I'm really weird with stuff like that. You're weird with hair and food. No, as like, most like, people are like, yeah. No, but you'll be like, garnish it. But like, if I seen it, I wouldn't eat for like a day and a half after because it would really have my head and it would freak me out. Oh. Especially, I can't say it. If it like nips. Oh. If it nips, do you know if it's in your mouth? We're trying to get. I know what you want about. Oh. Oh. Or if it goes under your throat and you have to pull it up, oh. and you can feel the sensation of it running. Just, How just long it. is the? Uh, <laughs> we found. Has that never happened? I suppose you don't have long hair, but if you never had your wife's hair, oh. we've never had desperate times. That's she? why we can't go through your phone. <laughs> 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 but when it's pulling the whole way out, I've hit my own hair and had that feeling. Oh, so uh, it's just oh, well. And it's there and it's a big long card. I'm like, hey, owns this? Uh, uh, yeah. It's obviously me. Yeah. We carry yeah. sauce on it. Mm. Sh- can we go? Let's go to Zara. I'm more <laughs> interested. Go to Zara. Zara. I, I get a lot of oh my, my gigs. Oh, my God. Now that's Zara. some content, mm. three of us and Zara. Where would we say we were going on a girls' weekend? Where would we go? Well, I really want to go to Dangle. Oh, and Kerry? We're actually, uh, actually talking been. about this. Uh, I've been. Have you? You've been? I've been as a child a couple I of times. I got food poisoning the last time, but I was eight. So I went as it. a child. Uh, recently. You went as a child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was an adult. <laughs> I went as a child. <laughs> Just like dressed like a kid and like... Uh, <laughs> I went that, as a child. Yeah, guy. sat in a booster seat. And <laughs> <laughs> did the whole thing. Really? Like dumb man. No, we're going to Dangle. Yeah. Dangle. <laughs> Dingle's class. Uh, I've never been. But the the, 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 um, the Dolphins, dolphins Way. No, but apparently there's another one on its back. There's another one on was its back? Was there just one? No. <laughs> it's come back there's with an X. One. There's another one. 
No, actually, so it might be a different one. Some people think it's the same dolphin. Some people nah, think it's a new dolphin. That. No, it is. I'm following yeah. it on Twitter, all the spottings. Oh, yeah. And they're, it, it's either back or there's a lot of ball bags and dingle. Yeah. <laughs> the dingle ball bags. The dingle ball bags. Was there only one dolphin? In, but dingle, is that what everybody went down well, for? Well, there was the main one called Fungi. Fungi. He was the main one. And, and he, he stayed I've seen years him. years Although, here's the thing. I wouldn't know if it wasn't him. Well, nobody would. This yeah. is it. But Imagine then, it was more. But he has a personality and he's a certain look about him where you it's go, he's famous. Worked. It's crafty. <laughs> you know, he pops up and he goes. Huh. You know, he's like, he's like he you knows in your dungeon and dragon tape. <laughs> yeah. hey. He pops up and he says, hey guys, I may be from nine types of different place with this accent. You can't quite work out which one it is. <laughs> he flexes his big fun. Yeah, guys, we got the roll. <laughs> I'm always out of breath in my audition. <laughs> You do Where's this place? I think it's nerves, doesn't it? You uh, sort of, yeah. you get really breathy. You do yeah. too much. You do too much. And side internally yeah. sometimes yeah. as well. But you're like, fucking. But what are we going to do in D- See, in Dingle, there's not loads. To do. There's some really nice wee pubs. You make your crack. It's about who's with you, no matter, especially Donegal. Like uh, we've all been to them holidays in a caravan and it's the best time, but it's just a caravan with like tennis in it. We're yeah. just going to Dingle, they chat. Just going yeah. to Dingle, they fucking talk. We really have to earn some stuff. Imagine there's no playlist the whole way down. Could you use chat the whole way? You could chat the whole way to Dingle. Yeah. We didn't listen to any music coming here, we won't on the way back. It's not, not even it's not a, a bit of Usher? Uh, bit of Usher? No. It it I'm sick like last time, is in my house, I'm fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moaning, I mean, moaning, moaning. I mean, that's a, that's a reality show I'd watch. Yeah. Usher in my house. Usher in Derry, yeah. I'd watch it too. <laughs> yeah. Over and over. Yeah. And over. <laughs> but he's not like. Usher is like cool for a long time, but like, I don't know if. He, like, I think he is. I mean, he's a baby. He's not still cool today. I just take a bit of time off to have wines. I think he got a. And I don't want to speak out of term, but I think he got a. Someone please look us up. I think he got arrested for giving someone herpes. You can't get arrested for you and someone else. How long? Look it up. How long? Is that a legality? What? Look like, it up. Is this the way the media has put it out there? When it was actually like, I'm not saying the Caesar, but it was a bit of an essay, and then it's like, oh, that's the wee story they talk about. Do you know, we like sort of pick bits out of stories when things happen to people. But Tony? can you get Tony. arrested for giving her advice? Tony. Usher exposed her to genital herpes during encounters in 2017. Didn't tell us. So you still want him in your but house? He knew. I mean, <laughs> he knew her face. <laughs> He's just running about like that. <laughs> but you can't get. I don't want to kiss him. Okay. On the mouth, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> just the elbow. <laughs> just, just knock knees. That's what they do. Shut up, Usher. Shut up, Usher. If he's watching, I'm sorry for bringing that up, mate. But um, but yeah, Dingle's one. I like. Here's me thinking he's a family man too. I know. <laughs> family making of herpes. I'm sure. Yeah. We've got. This is a weird turn. <laughs> She got 20 million. The person he gave it to got 20 million. He gave me herpes for 20 million? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's Patreon content. Can Usher give us genital herpes? All three of us. That's the, that's, that's the adventure. That's we're going to go dangle. Yeah. We're going to dangle and get herpes off Usher. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not splitting the 20, Usher. It's three, it's three people. <laughs> Babes. Three twenties. Kerry. The whole of County Kerry is good. But you do, you do a wee trip around it. You wouldn't yeah. just stay in Dingle. You'd go to Tralee. Uh, Killarney. Yeah. Go to all these places. That's fun. That's a good trip. <clears throat> I we're actually going to we're but we're seriously going to do it. I personally would love to go around a, and um investigate like sort of haunted castles murders. and stuff. Uh, I'm really into the paranormal. Stuff. I'm Active really into murders. that. Active murders. What do you call what do you call the circle with all the stones facing up around it? Is that Stonehenge. Not? Stonehenge. Is that desperate that I don't know that? No, it's in England. That's in England. No, it's it? not. There's no, not there, one in Ireland. There's one, there's a wee summer one in Ireland uh, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's a really spiritual place. It's got a better name. But we can't remember it right now, so don't ask us. The ring Oh no, the Ring of Kerry. That is, is a, that's, that's a thing, is isn't it? And I think it's it in Kerry or somewhere near that. This is great. Like, guys, can you just look it up? So I'm not uh, simple. They can look up anything. I like. I like the way you're gonna be like. Can you just look up pizza places in Derry? What time <laughs> they close tonight? <laughs> it's so specific. Can you order me food actually? Yeah. <laughs> but I. That's that will be class. We're on about doing a wee road trip yeah. around Ireland. Just see. I'm filming it. And, and I like that kind of thing. But then, if you go on a trip. Mm. Surely you're going like New Yorker or something like that. Maybe that or something. Yeah, I never. But been we're doing that as well. Right. You do it all. You don't choose. But this is a road trip. It's a very different vibe. We went to Portugal for a day this week to shoot a Patreon podcast. We went to Portugal for a day. I don't mean overnight. I mean for a day. Amazing. Just you flew in the morning, come back at night, and they film awesome. this yeah, on the beach. Yep. On Did the beach. Podcast on the beach. Why didn't you stay even one night? It was on It's your should've. podcast. Oh, hey, yeah. <gasps> should have. Did you all have to stay for? Did you get to stay over? No, they had the, the sense to not. So who, who were you um, interviewing in Portugal? Me, my mate William. 
And He's made up. Niall Let's be came from the air signs and doesn't it? <laughs> it was just William? a guy on the beach. No, yeah. it was just we just went and it was like twenty two degrees and we sat in the sun, did a podcast, shot a video, came home. Just for the crack? Yeah. Amazing. And I thought I'm like, we're gonna do this all the time, but when you go away and we're flying from Dublin <sighs> nightmare. Yeah. Just okay. when you get back, I'm so tired. I went to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> All fun and games till you're just so, so tired. tired. Just knackered. Uh, I, I slept most to... of the way home when I was driving, which is where did I go? dangerous. <laughs> what did I... Where, where did I go? Remember we went to... Remember me and Aisha all went away for two days? Where was it again? Brussels. We flew... Brussels? Are you a, a politician? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing over there? Uh, just Brussels having in a fun, party just place? kicking back. Uh, no, no, but it was just basically... <laughs> It was a couple of years ago. Ryanair had were doing deals on flights, right. and they were like a fiver. And my friend is obsessed with like organisation itinerary. I love that. She's all about it, and she'll me- she used to message us randomly like, "Guys, fiver flights, Brussels, fly from Dublin, two days." And I was like, "It's one night there." And we were like, "Fuck it, let's just go." Unreal. It was a bit see the flags. Door to door, two hundred euro each. So three of us went yep. door to door. That was accommodation was food. We went out. We pub crawl. Went to an amazing museum. Um, had the whole sort of the Sprite Museum. No, actually, it was the Word Museum where it was really amazing. Actually, no, the <laughs> Brussels <laughs> Sprout Museum. No, I heard, I heard, I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> not much. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but uh, just stuff like that. They just be like, "Fuck it, will we go?" And just sort of pack your bags and go. And it was brilliant, crack. I'm all about that. Class. Yeah. I'm all about that. The one, just the the quick trip. Just mad. You like, it's it a word one. You say, "I've seen that place." Mm. Yeah. Because that's what that's why we picked Portugal because it was the cheap flight. Yeah, that's that day. That's a life on the road. Just all your toiletries constantly and we sandwich bags. Don't, I don't bring, you know I don't bring toiletries. You go into the supermarket and just use it as place. You're just a, you're <laughs> a full-time mad bastard, just as an absolute nomad. Baby wipe in the airport. <laughs> just one, for the top to bottom. Yeah. That's it. Not like yeah, in the normal. toilets, Rang just it out. in the middle of the parchers. <laughs> Put it over a wee heater. <laughs> use it the next day. One baby. <laughs> I bring everywhere. Just the whole way. <laughs> Anything to declare. Like, yeah, I'm a weird bastard. <laughs> <laughs> your comfort blanket? Yes. We, we should... Come, let's do a one day podcast. Yeah. Somewhere where, wherever has the cheapest flights. Mm-hmm. Okay. It do- that could be dangerous. Could be anywhere. Yeah. Well, you're paying for absolutely everything, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but if it's a fiver flight, it'll be like 35 quid or something. Let's just yeah. do it. Let's do it. Somewhere, your somewhere mass is bad could be, could be if Portugal. there's just three Could be Poland. <laughs> <And a, laughs> could be anywhere uh-huh. I love going on sky- you ever go on Skyscanner just to see where you can go aye uh, but isn't well annoying when it you go on Skyscanner shit. sometimes and the wee graph doesn't come up for you I don't use the graph well Jesus belly bag bollocks <laughs> you know the wee graph that gives you all the different price and it tell you, yeah. prices and it tells you on a Wednesday it's cheaper do you not know about this graph I don't know about it either but do you I know go about by this graph the graph no yeah it's the, the graph. graph and sometimes it doesn't show you the graph like you might be saving 160 pounds one way right oh I've heard something as well and I don't know if this is true because I've never tried it but apparently whenever it you're sounds like it's not true the way you've brought <laughs> it up <laughs> this might be balls but so basically apparently whenever you um, book a flight like a long haul flight like say we're British Airways and you look at a first class seat and it's like whatever amount of money if you go on their, we- on their actual website and you yeah. buy air miles you can then buy the first class flight, flight with miles and it's a lot cheaper so it's oh. like you go on and buy the points or the miles and then purchase it that way. You need a segment, don't you, MTV? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, nice. that's actually genius. You this know is them. what I'm I, saying. I always do the thing. I go up, if it's a long haul flight, I go up to the check-in desk and I go, yeah, just check into the bag and I go, how much is uh, much first class today? You know, just, yeah. just inquiring, like £4,000. I go, hmm. Do they look at your jumper I'll and go, leave it. no. Yeah. yeah, they'll go, no, you Why are you asking? <laughs> I, I got so close to it once that we're just going to upgrade me. Aye. And then a supervisor or manager came over and the girl was like, I actually can't do it now. But she was going to do it. What a selfish. What? Have you been bumped up on anything? Aye. Where? where? So I got bumped up when I was going up to LA um, just to go to, for meetings a few years ago. And um, I just booked a flight. It was the first long haul flight in ages. <clears throat> booked it, whatever. Got on the flight. I went down, got up, went on last to the flight. <clears throat> went down the bottom. And I seen this year again, he was looking and he kind of looked away and looked again. I thought, I wonder if he knows. Just a wonder. And I just sort of went, all right, how are you? Big dare head on me. And he went, oh my God, Michelle. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. And sat down. <clears throat> but 10 minutes later, he, came, he comes over and he was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, but there's a problem with your headset. Do you want to follow me? And I was like, yes. Oh, Got up. Yes. Business class. Delighted. And then when I was working in... Um, delighted. Oh, so delighted. And then I was, I was doing a job in South Africa and they flew me out first class. And it was gorgeous and amazing, but once you have the test of that, it's wild hard to go. I haven't flung, flew, lo- flung. <laughs> <laughs> flung myself. Flung, what did you flung at them? I um, I haven't flown long haul since then. Yeah. 
and I'm just and like, you can't go the, back the test of first me. class. You have your own wee thing, you know. Oh, why? And everyone yeah. calls you ma'am. I didn't know how to act then. I didn't know how to act in first class. That's probably still don't. And I was asking, can I, is this like, much as this? And they were like, it's all, it's all free. And I was like, is it like your first time you're going to a uh, pawn shop? Much yeah. as that, much as that. That's what was happening. And the guy was like, go on, calm down. And they trust you with an actual knife. They trust, I know. Money, <laughs> that you're not going to stab somebody. Give you a machete yeah. as you go yeah. on. Yeah. So have you been bumped? You been bumped have up? I ever been bumped up? Not to that level, I don't think. Um, I've been bumped up to first class at that level, but... On a translink. People allow me to skip the queue the whole time, or do you know things like that? Uh, I don't... I love to skip the queue, but I don't like anyone to see me skip the queue. I don't mind I going to the nightclub. I queue at my own... If I'm doing a show... Mm. And I arrive like half an hour before the show and there's a wee bit of a queue. I join the back of it. Oh no, but you would. You wouldn't just walk up and expect them to let you in. You to get in. That yeah. makes no sense. Sure, nobody else is going to be able to... If I go in through the main You mean your own gig? gig? Yeah. <laughs> you, hold on, you queue for your own like, gig? Yeah. That seems counterproductive <laughs> to the people in front. Like I would be like, can you just... Can, can you, you, sorry, uh, can you, get can you hurry up? The road? People eventually do do that. But what get I'm to the toilet chain, have a glass of water. I was in London a couple of weeks ago and... I was arriving like 20 minutes before the show started and there was a few late people going in and I could have just like swung by them and cut in but I was like it's about six people it won't take them that long to go through and I don't want to be like excuse me so I just waited and eventually a few of them turned around and were like oh go like, why you are you up? here why are you in this queue <laughs> um but I, I don't know it's just something I don't like about being like excuse me please but if it's your gig I know that makes Do you know no you can sense avoid that? just stand say nothing and just walk ahead also, it's your gig. <laughs> but I've had that so many times where y- y- I go to do that and the security guy's like, excuse me, mate, yeah. you have to queue up. And I go, <laughs> "Yeah." my show, he's like, mate, queue up. And then I go, it's me that's on. And he has to check the programme. Oh, yeah. I know, they like avoid that. Queue, right. They avoid that. And my own gig queue. in Strabane once, I basically had to like fight with the guy to let me in because I was doing the show. He's like, yeah, right. I'm like, I'm the act. What a great experience you've given me. <laughs> I've been stopped by security on a job to get back to my own trailer. Right. Before, and the security's been like, sorry, 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 it's cast only. And I'm having a full costume. <laughs> do you think that these are my normal fucking clothes? You look like a lunatic like? super fan. <laughs> do you think that I chose to wear these wee tiny witch boots and these tights <laughs> and this fucking dress for my hair like this? I'm obviously <laughs> cast. <laughs> yeah. What's the um, what's the most common question you just get asked when you're doing, like, I know this isn't press for the show, but when you're doing, like, when the show's on, when you're doing promotion what's the stock question where you just go oh, for fuck there's like five of them wasn't it are you single Am I joking? <laughs> you don't get asked that no, oh, no, no, no. Um, when you're Nuts doing magazine. press <laughs> when you're doing press what's the main question they ask are you sad the show's over probably right everybody's asking that at the moment they also, they? They also ask how much has your life changed since yeah. it came out that is constant yeah which is fair enough it's a question you know yeah I mean? but it must be hard to answer the same things in a different way or you don't, like I don't answer them in, you don't answer them a different way you just answer them the same and then the journalist turn them into something else apparently yeah because you just answer you, you end up and it's it's common sense because whenever you're doing press you'll have like a bunch of interviews all within a couple of days and then they'll just it's, it has very similar questions obviously yeah. and I made a point of giving the same answers because it has the same question and then you're sitting looking at stuff and it's just it's just so different they're all so different and yeah. you give the same answers well anytime like and I've seen that the way you're saying like they make a thing out of it Anytime you do the podcast, the local papers do a story about something. The one it. thing of it, eh? And last time it was like front page and it was the most like innocuous it was thing. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. it was like at now. the top, but it was like the most innocuous type thing. So I'm thinking, let's start a rumour. Yes. Uh. And see if we can get it in because they probably skim it. They won't see this bit where no. we go, let's start. What's well, a, a good rumour? That like, I'm Bear to O'Hearn's granddaughter. <gasps> no, but who? that might be believable. <laughs> Bertie O'Hearn? Bear to O'Hearn's granddaughter. I mean, that's any anyone one, would believe it. that. Yeah, that's so believable. And that could that could get me bumped up on places. No, that's a bumper. Bertie in the Bertie n- late nineties, maybe. Ah, but I think he still has. You think he's still carrying? Wait, some people. I she's a classic though. She's sort of she's still back in the old classics. I don't even know. I don't even know. If Bertie's but do you know what? Up. But that's rogue enough. That's rogue enough to make it a believable. Yeah, right. It has to be no, obscure. It has to be obscure enough to make it believable. So that I think sticks. I think that yous are doing a new show. I, you just have a documentary. Let's not shade on ourselves though whenever it doesn't yeah. come out. Let's not no, make it a thing. A documentary <clears throat> with David Hasselhoff. But that could actually happen. And I it know. would be so good. And I wouldn't want to embarrass. You'd want to rule it out. I don't want to rule it out. I would want to embarrass the Hoff. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. we exactly. chances with that. So yeah. let's let's think about something a bit more normal. Start and less business, destructive. Energy drink. They, but people would believe that. Uh, yeah. They definitely would. And then would. you just would get offers from companies being like, do you want to do this? And you would. And, and then, uh, I mean, I would. I, I drink know, a, a couple of good ones here. Yeah. A couple of really good. 
Oh my god, you two are secretly related. He's just found out. <gasps> That's yes. a good one. That's you're related. Very, and you just to go each other, so it's mental now. I'm trying to figure it all out. <laughs> you're the heir to Kimberly's baskets. God damn it. That's it. Yeah. So you two, we just found out he's were in the city. He's both were in Port Rush uh, years ago. Yeah. And yeah. he's went with each other, and then we figured out that he's your cousins. Yeah. And you're Barry's grandson. And you own the music. I'm Barry. I'm really. <laughs> that's yeah. the reason why she was interested. That's a whole I'm just other... the grandchildren here. Right. So you yeah. saw me. And <laughs> I you just were want like, hair is. Uh, you were like, I'm getting a good on the big dip for the family. Uh, she went kitchen and look at that hairline. I spared your parents' granddaughter. I want to marry Andy a family that makes sense, and that would rightfully so be the Barry's amusements family. That would be the perfect match. Yeah. The wedding wouldn't be awkward. But how did we find out we're cousins? Um, oh, like in Ancestry <laughs> and me. 23 and me. No, we were talking about um, so you're, you know people in Derry and then we just sort of kept talking and then that's how it always happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. is that Margaret from so-and-so? Aye. Yeah. Sure, that's my cousin. But I think the Bertie Ahern relate gets lost. Do you? Yeah, and I think that should be front and centre. But that's a good, I mean, well, it's a good enough story. Let's just see how far it goes, Shane. Let's see, let's see how far Let's just right. all put an actual bet on it. Financially, <laughs> let's actually see how I far used to lie in any interview I did for stand-up so every year if I'm doing a big show yeah. mm. I just got like the, how do you get started in stand-up tell us a joke I would always lie mm. but really subtly to see if it would go in and um, my I used to do a podcast with my friend Dave and uh, they said oh you do, do you, know, you also do a podcast <coughs> with Dave called Boy Town I'm like yeah yeah and I would always put in this fact about Dave different fact every time and the last one I did I said yeah, I love doing the podcast with Dave. He doesn't have a lot of time because uh, he's a he's a butcher by trade, and like he isn't right, and that's not funny. But to me, it's that's, obscure enough when that's yeah. printed in the Irish news, yeah. and he's like, uh. "Why have you said I'm a butcher?" Uh. And then people are texting him, being like, "Mate, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> known you for years I didn't know you were a butcher uh, and, and I also once said he was my uncle I was like oh I think I think we're the only uh, uncle nephew podcast uh, team around locally uh, but that's but that's a good one and that's the power of I used to always British. tell a lie in front of my best friend's face she loves in Tenerife and when people used to ask her why she loves in Tenerife I used to say before she could answer because her dad was doing a fag run and they would always be so shocked and awkward they wouldn't question on it and she would always be so fuming at me she wouldn't speak afterwards and then it would take them we- weeks or like maybe years of knowing us to like bring up once they had a couple of drinks in them like she's you could support a whole family in five rounds and she'd be like she was fucking lying <laughs> sorry I'm drinking away at this I'm, I'm going to ask a stock question you've really been asked working with Liam Neeson when he was on the show was that class aye aye it was it was like he's such a nice man he's so nice aye. and dead and he didn't polite. treat me any different even though I was a granddaughter all the same no there was no favouritism there you really wasn't you know out. not at all uh, it was kind to you because he knows we're friends yeah, 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 the yeah, Neeson yeah, family yeah. are anything oh and they, thank you Jimmy. you <laughs> really are <laughs> <laughs> the, Neeson, the Neeson family are just professional and just good hearted people aren't you uh, thank yeah. you they yeah. are yeah, yeah, yeah. whole hearted people you. some family you come from great stock great stock great stock Tall stock. Yeah. Cheers. Aye. Aye. But it was lovely. Mm. And was, he it, com- was he there? Was it one day? One day shoot? Aye, it was one day. One magical, magical day. I'll never forget. William Neeson would talk right Andy. I've got a tattoo to my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tattoo on me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, it was. He came over to me. Remember in the in the trailer, I was sitting there, and he walked down. And you always have to be Liam Neeson. So you have to be dead uh-huh. professional, sort of side eye him instead of just looking at him. And um, he came over. He's like, "Lovely to meet you, I'm Liam." And he shook my hand, and I was like, oh, "Obviously, yeah." yeah. He's like, "I'm Jamie Lee," and he was chatting away, and he was just so nice, dead professional, dead respectful. And one thing I will say, especially working with such like an influential man, look at the respect he gave all us, and especially Lisa on set was really, really Amazing. admirable to see. It was so lovely. He didn't step over. He really sort of took her. Or obviously Mike's was was there as well, the director, but it didn't he really took yeah, on board what really she was, was saying. So he was just like fully respectful yeah. for her direction. It was just lovely to see. I, I'm sure I'm really he could have come on and been like, I'm actually gonna do it like this and exactly, being like, yeah. he and everybody was like, yeah. yeah. He could have hijacked it and he's brilliant at that if you've seen any of his films. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. But I've seen him take down planes, never mind yeah. sets. Yeah. Sitcoms. <laughs> sure but no, yeah, he was but he was, uh, he was really respectful Class. and really generous with his time and mm. just really lovely. And, and it's st- it still would have been incredible if he wasn't, if he was so rude and like, exactly, was like yeah. knocking people out and stuff. It still would have been a great experience. <clears throat> That's a mad thing, isn't it? Yeah. About that industry. The, yeah, it still would have been a great experience just to be able to work with... Um, actors that are that established and when you're working directly across from them to see how they work mm. um it's such a privilege from an actor <laughs> yeah exactly shane exactly i know what you're saying i'm taking it all on next uh, interview dead type polo <laughs> <laughs> skin tight pinned it on do you know what i loved about that scene mm. 
the way Ke- the way it, the way that Kevin McAleer came into it. He was. Bar- I mean, um, how brilliant! See, when we watched that as well. We done the the screening of in Derry. Yeah. Before it came out, and obviously every the theatre we were in was packed, and uh, they were like, "What?" One of your lines was like, "I know who we can call." Yeah. And then, and then when it was his face came up, I remember I was like, "Wow!" Because uh, it came on the screen, people were absolutely buzzing to see him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It Although was just it was, such he's a brilliant. It was uh, such a perfect, perfect. scene. And it's a brilliant bit of so plot good. writing from Lisa. Like uh, it's just yeah. absolutely genius. You write that reaction from the audience. They were buzzing. Well. Yeah. I think it it's, that sat, uh, it's that satisfaction, isn't it? As an audience member, when you know your favorite characters on a show and the recurring mm. characters, yeah. it's so satisfying then to have that full circle. Jesus, Lisa's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> It's like she knows what she's doing. It's, it's like mad. she knows what is she's doing. Is it not so uh, nerve wracking watching a screening of it in Derry? I, that, I, I, is that not like loads of pressure? Do you know, maybe in the first series it was um, because it was the first series, but a lot of our family and friends are there. Um, so I think that and the show is so well established now. And, I mean, we can rely on the script so much because they're so great. We're so excited to see each other's performances, aren't mm-hmm. we? And to see our family's reactions to it because I think all our families and friends feel like so part of the show as well that it doesn't feel pressure. It feels like, like a joyous moment to have all together, I we're getting to come back and watch uh, it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, can't imagine there's going to be many other jobs. Hopefully there will be. I'd, I'd love mm-hmm. to and I'd love to bring screenings of all my other work back to Derry. Um, but to have a show like that, to have a screening of that size in your yeah. hometown, is just amazing. Mm. Like, like people always ask you about a film, and do you think like Fra the Train? <laughs> like, do you think they would start afresh with that casting if it went to film, or do you think Michael's <laughs> locked in? I I think it's it's who knows who knows yeah who knows could be more characters we have we did get on really well with Fra now I must say yeah so we don't did, talk uh, about he's it. coming to Jungle with us. I, I don't know yeah, but there's still Rimfi in the he's car great. no I, yeah. and I hate that because he's uh, he's lovely he and I said that to him I said I did say to him and he'll tell you this I said you're a nice man <laughs> you're a kind man but if you I tested won't. his mental math shit that's where you might get him Shane what do you mean his I think you should. just in case now he's the threat and he's smart as well smart ah. good looking man talented you don't want that no just if he taking... shows up if he shows <laughs> if he shows up in a Ralph Lauren polo two sizes too See, small out. <laughs> out, the, out the window yeah out the window yeah um what what do you just do? What what's the next thing you're supposed to do? I have the Flash that's coming out next year. It's just been pushed from November. The action thing? Yeah, the DC movie. Has um, he been cast? As he he has now been cast. Damn it's Fra. Because you know <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fry. Imagine Michael I, Fry. Imagine I go to do my opera house shows and I look yep. on stage and he's there <laughs> as me. You can probably in your mask now. You haven't done her. Hey Shane, wanna? He's but, playing golf for your dad. You know, speak. You know I go, You know I do a good job as a flash. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a flash? Yeah. <laughs> it's a flash. <laughs> it's the first thing the flash would say. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you call the Flash? <laughs> I might be Australian. Um, <laughs> and is that is that a film or a series? It's a it's a movie. Yeah. Flash. Um. So that and then I'm, I have who another. Do you, who do you who do you play in it? I can't say it. I'm not. Okay. Uh, I can't say. I'm glad we started with mine. Have you already <laughs> filmed it? With that. What? Have you already filmed it? Yeah, filmed it. It was meant to be out in November. Um, but I think due to just a backlog with COVID, with special effects and stuff, it's been pushed to next May. Is there CGI in it? Aye. Uh, I uh, imagine no, they're just they're taking a real natural touch this time around <laughs> <laughs> they're just stripping it all back Shane <laughs> back down to it's what it's really about where's the about. premiere um, I don't know yet I'd say we'll have one in London and one in the States as my dad would say the States Class. the US States, of A uh, Class. LA yeah. probably <laughs> premiere uh, probably I always have the attitude of like Unless I was in, I don't think I'd go to a premiere, but I've never been invited, and if I did, I would go. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. I like the idea that I wouldn't, yep. but I, I fully would, 100%. Like, you think you're too good for it, but just because you weren't asked? No, I don't even think I'm too good. I just like the mystery. Okay. I'm, not, I'm a mysterious guy. I'm like, not doing, like, 20 podcasts a week. <laughs> <laughs> you closed book over there? The least, yeah, yeah like, yeah. I just prefer people know as little about private. you as possible. How do you do it? How do you do that many podcasts over and over again? Because I'm sure when you're interviewing someone, you have the question, but how do you have that much going on in your own life? Because so? I don't really ask normal questions. Like, Normal questions. You're a different guy. I'm not your average guy. I don't want to say I'm a I just can't figure you out. I don't want to say I'm a pioneer, uh, cool (laughs) podcast guy, but no, I I, I think it's because it is just like a conversation Uh, as opposed to... You're not on our show as well, which helps. And did you start doing the podcast first? Thank you. 
thank you. You're not, and you don't have an agenda, like because you can sense it. You can't you yeah. when people's trying to worm somebody. You can yeah. kind of sense yeah. you're like, well, he's asking that for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. your guards up all the time, but when you do stuff like this, you don't need to have your guard up, so you can be yourself more. Yep. Yeah, and it feels better. But I maybe know. I do have an agenda, and that's <gasps> yeah. why I'm working on that. And then next time you come on the podcast, this is your agenda. Yeah. You want to meet my granda? You want to be Kendall the romance? <laughs> this is just a way to my granda. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> on both sides. Story your life, Sasha. <laughs> Story life, fucking life. Oh, she gets. She's sick it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even know how to like execute an agenda if I had one. So, so I what? I what came that. first, the podcast or doing the stand-up shows? Oh, I've been doing stand-up for like so long that it's like not cool. Does okay. that make sense? It surely You know people are like, oh, I've only been at this for like a while. I've been stand for 15 years. I bet Jeez. you probably started when you were about nine. Yeah. And, and was, was it like a wee kid then? Like was so it a wee kid stand up? Um, I mean, I was 18. Oh, you were 18. Yeah. yeah. But I was doing it as a kid because sometimes I will do that. So I was doing stand up as a child. Okay, yeah. Um, and where was the bar in Belfast that you went to? Did you do stand up then? The first gig I did was the Black Box in the Cathedral Quarter. Oh my God, class. The and Black I was Box? 18. <clears throat> I wrote out a script of like my set. Like a monologue because I didn't know I didn't know what the technique and there isn't even a technique but I like wrote you it right? out. I just, just okay? do you need to cough? Yeah. No, I just keep because <laughs> <that, 'cause, laughs> I, I need to do that before all my. Keep, so you, sorry, fucking hell. So you wrote it down. I wrote it down word for word of what I was going to say and then I got on stage. Had never been on any stage apart from when I was uh, in many child's choirs. Nativity. Yeah. Um. No, just choirs. Oh, your Protestant do don't do that, do you? I'm not. <laughs> I have this whole time not. I thought you were Protestant. No. No. There's no way Again, you're a Fenian. back to the mystery. There is Why? no way you're a Fenian. Did no. you just drop the okay. Mac at the start of your name? Yeah. Oh. I used to be McShane Todd. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds Mate. delicious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. No. <laughs> Look, I'm just drifting about the religions. <laughs> I'm right. just gonna point. There's a bit of this. There's a bit of that. This nomad vibes coming no, back. So on you yes. Look, man. I just. I don't know if you subscribe to the whole thing. Uh, but you've definitely got a box, and you're definitely collecting. Yeah. Well, no. I got. Uh, no. <laughs> I when guess. I got. When I. When was it last year? I got circumcised last year, so I think. You know what I am now. Yeah. Okay. Um. But. Clean. Yes. <laughs> 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 if anybody, by the way, needs a promo code, Kingsbridge Hospital, Lisburn, <laughs> tea with me for 10% off. 10% uh, money or 10% off? Yeah. Um, used to say, I say 20% off when I'm talking about that joke in stage and then someone pointed out if your, if your foreskin was 20% of your penis, that's, that's a lot. That's ratio wise, that's also changed it 10%. I don't think it was anyway. any of your penis. Was it not just a wee bit of skin at the top? Yeah, but that's still part of it. It's just uh, not like the main part of it. It's, it's not it's the main part of it. It's not the bit that I care about. So, whatever. <laughs> no more joking. Do you have a specific bit? Well, not like, that we wiggly about a skin. Uh, uh, every day we do, do like, uh, let's, um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, so my first gig, yes. Um, uh, so who did you put your skin onto your gig? Uh, no. It was 2009. And, um, no, I don't know when it was. Uh, but yeah, I wrote this out and I'd never been on stage. And as soon as I stood on stage as like an 18-year-old in front of all these like adults and there was a spotlight on me and everyone was quiet i forgot i got, I got the first sentence out and then i forgot oh. i didn't know how to learn lines or anything like that mm. so i just forgot all of it i was only doing five minutes and there was like what felt like oh. a, a long gap mm. it probably wasn't trying and, and then i and then i was like world, doesn't it? oh my god i was like it's so fucking scary it's like a feeling inside your body it feels like their whole body's empty and all your organs have left i was and you're just sweating i was I talking too so fast and then i went I had all this stuff planned, but uh, I've forgotten it, and everyone started laughing. And I was like, "Yeah, I was like, I'm fucking this up so bad." This for I was mm. like, "I'm never doing this again." And like that, then started to make everyone laugh. And I was like, "I even bought, I got these shoes from TK Maxx for this, and I don't even like these shoes." <laughs> and yeah. like, yeah. It, so I got away with it a bit, <clears throat> and it was like then I like had a wee look at my book, and I was like, "Oh, I," and I tried to do this bit, and I was like, "That was horrendous. I don't want to do that again." About six months later. Tried it again on the pavilion on the Omo Road and it went like kind of better. And then I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this now. So, and do you have anybody at your first gig or was it like you're driving? Like, there was a few mates from anybody? tech there. I would tell people <laughs> if they were doing stand up, don't invite anyone. But actually, when you can look out in the audience and see someone you know, yeah. and they're obviously going to find it a bit funny, it's okay. But you don't want the whole room to be your friends and family because no. you'll think you're, you're Jerry brilliant. Seinfeld. Yeah. And then you'll go into a gig where they don't know you and you'll be like, oh no, this is, <laughs> yeah. maybe this isn't funny. Um, but class yeah but so stand up came way before but people sort of if they discover you doing the podcast or videos they think that's how you start and that and that's fine but mm. i've been doing this 
that suits me because I don't want people to be like, I don't want to be like, no, I've been doing, I've been trying this for fifteen years. for half of a life sentence, no more, well, nearly a life James sentence. Great what is a life sentence? <laughs> Twenty eight years. Twenty five, I think. Twenty five. We all look at you. Around. What is a guess? Come on. <laughs> well, Mike's been out now for. <laughs> <laughs> is it only twenty five years for a life sentence? I think so, and I don't even think you do all that. I think if you're a good you boy, to go away, you go. I thought you were on for life, look. No. That's only if your skin's darker. That's how that works. Yeah. Let's be honest. So I'd be fucked. Yeah. You'll be out in a year. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) A month. Yeah, my brows straight out. That's mad. I didn't know that, that it was just, there was an actual number on it. Minimum of 15 years. Minimum of 15 years. Isn't that mental? Wild. Wild. Madness. Um, And it must be fun, like being back, like in between takes and all when you're on the set, you guys must get on great. (laughs) Well, (laughs) not too best. Um, okay, but you have to keep your you have to keep your balls up, don't you? Your energy because I thought you were going to say boundaries there. No, I was a whole <laughs> back. We're past that. We're past that. Oh, so you have to keep your boundaries up. We're literally past it. We're literally checking each other's noses and teeth before. Uh, I was actually going to say, is there something there in my nose? Do you know what? That's no. I'm not at the tiny. No, you know what? Oh, like a spot. Aye. Uh, uh, is it coming through though? Do you think it would need to be touch up and make up? No. No, you're good. You have okay. quite small nostrils. I do, you have a tiny nose. But do you know, because it's a button nose, I still always get slagged about my nose. I actually looked under it. Was you looking at mine? No, I actually... Well, no. I actually... I had to double check to be like, <laughs> oh no, but then you actually have quite a small nose. I really too. wanted a Michael Jackson nose. I used like to get that. bullied about my nose, loads. And I locked on to get a nose job for my 18th birthday after I was going to pay to get a nose job. I went to Belfast. Did you on it? I d- to Belfast. No, I was going to try and just get it a bit straightened out and like pulled out a wee bit just to have a normal person's nose. Had a consultation and everything when I was like 19, 20 and saved the money. And I'm so glad I didn't do it. Yeah. But I did get slagged a lot about my nose. And even though you are right, I do have small nostrils, but pe- I think the perception of them, they look bigger. And some of my cousins just to say, Sarah, she could pick her nose with her thumb. Now that's just a fucking lie and I'll show you. Oh, that is a lie. Can't get it off. You can't. can't, you can't. can't. And her hands are tiny. Her yeah. thumbs are tiny. I couldn't get any of my thumb up my nose, not even a baby. Like, look like that. All right, yeah. see? It's, it's going nowhere. Yeah. It's going so nowhere, Shane. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> like, now we've yeah. got the headline. Now yeah. we've got the press story. Now we've got it. We've yeah. got about 10 of them, to be fair. Sick of it. Sick of it. It's fucking yeah. sick of it. Um, but the thing is, if you got a nose job, you would have no nose. You'd be like, You'd be like, I just think it would look so mental. But why would Your you eyes get it would look massive. Belfast if you're getting something Because you're not done. getting a nose job in dairy. Turkey? Mm-hmm. Not turkey, you can't mm-hmm. go there. People come gonna... back with one big tooth. Aye. <laughs> it's uh, mental. It's desperate. Fangs looking. are there for a reason. Yeah. yeah. It can be wild overwhelming looking. You're right, it's like one it's big just like but it, bottom but, tooth. But you get to go to turkey. I would even know, but teeth. I'd be like, I just had two weeks on clues from I know, but... Mm-hmm. Came back with an evil eye. Woo, <laughs> It's what it's. I don't know. It's one of them things. I think it's. I mean, each their own. If you're going to be each their own, but imagine like. getting it done at that age. Yeah. I no. Know. It doesn't look anything like. If you cannot get it done, don't be getting it done. Because like, mm. my, I broke my nose and I could have got it fixed. In mm. fact, here's the thing. I did get it fixed and I had to wear these plasters on it. I broke my nose playing football and then I didn't wear the things and I was like, they probably just give you this. You know, like putting on your, uh, you know when you land on a flight and they're like, keep your belt on though? You're like, we've landed. I was like, they're just, <laughs> but then I took it off and then it, it did change shape. So I should have kept That's on. That's a good it. question. Yeah. See when they say, put your phone on airplane mode, do you do it? Aye, I do. No, I don't. Are you asking me on the record? Or yeah. <laughs> but you can't use it when you're up that high, so what's the point? Oh, of sometimes you can. You can. You sometimes can. You'll if you were really? a user, you would know. <gasps> you'll be 10 minutes from landing all of a sudden. Get boop, boop, WhatsApp boop. notifications. Oh, do you? And you can still continue to download something when it's ticking off. Come on, come on, come on, come yeah. on. Yeah. I had that with a podcast where I was sweating. I'm like, come on, come on. The last minute I got it. I've never done it, and I think it's sort of a test. It's not dangerous anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's selfish, dangerous anyway. No, I've, I've never done it because I, I respect our people. So. Yeah. <laughs> lives, so. But they don't tell you. I don't think they do it in first class. They don't tell you to put your phone on airplane mode or anything like they that. They actively encourage you. They're like, no hey, calls. This text. is why they think it's different. Why are you, they allowed knives, right? So they're not going to stab anybody. They don't, they're allowed to use their phones and yeah. they don't have to wear a seatbelt. So it's just none of it makes sense. Well, we can't, we're not going to be able to go first class when we go to do this podcast. I'm not going. You know, oh, right, do you dangle? No, Fran, we're not flying the dingle. But what I mean is. <laughs> <laughs> What I mean is, if if you're just going to like crack off for a quick flight, yep. there is no first. Mm, that's just, why you've chosen crack off, selfish. But there is <laughs> a title. There you is sure emergency exit seats. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just uh, human. <laughs> so down to earth. Get me an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me breathe around it. <laughs> 
one day that casting call is going to come in. We need a, someone that heavily breathes around an axe. And wears a really tight top. And it'll come down to me and Michael Fry. The trees. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you pick, though? There can only be one. <laughs> there can only be one. They're like, she it's not Australian. I go, I know, it's English. <laughs> I'm going to get a roll some, somehow. Somewhere. You are. You better get it off this because you're really going for it. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finger, just Any tag accent. everybody on this. Just tag everybody. Any accent, any scenario. Anything. I just do it. Yeah. Anything I believe that Michael you. Fry doesn't get. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a wee boss ask for some tips. Hi. Mm. <laughs> some advice. Mm, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank okay. you. We all have that person though, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're each other's. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Yeah, actors always said there's someone who always gets the roles that they... We yeah. we audition for the same stuff a lot, which is weird really? because we look yeah, so different, but it's get, I think sometimes it gets to the point where you go, just get all the daycare done. Because uh. we're obviously a different casting. Yeah. But you do get it. And recently, we've been helping each other out with, with auditions and we're up for the same part. Oh. Mm. Secretly, I'd be like messing it up for the other person. No, because yeah. we have integrity. Yeah. <laughs> and we're good people. No, you said I was a good person about 15 minutes ago. I mean, but I changed my opinion a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not consistent, no. But we actually do. We have to yeah. try. And we, we do it so different as well. We're such yeah. different styles and stuff and we know we are. And that's the thing. It's going to go to the person that it's right for mm. anyway. So you'd rather go to your friend. And we obviously know each other really well and how to work with each other really well now at this point. That th- Doing things like tips together works really well together. Mm. Yeah, and we can yeah. help. But we can. We don't recently, and it was like um, they were so. You know, you can sort of see when somebody it's if we fine. haven't done their full thing, or like if you've heard them read it, and then they do it, and you're like, do you think I could go again? You're like, I think uh, you could, because Cause you, I know what you what you can do with. What you and you know, we well, you know what they're trying to do with it, because yeah. you know uh, them yeah. so well. As you've seen from my audition tape for uh, Dodger Dragons, I do it once and then twice just for the crack. Just mm-hmm. I. To take Todd. Just to so surprise you yourself. Talk. In and out. Two <laughs> takes. No never, kissing. Never get the rule. <laughs> in and out. Like, Shane, you want to do that again? I go, come on. No. We got it. Really? You're like, you didn't. I go, no, come on. Did we it. got it. <laughs> we got it. Um, if you could make a pro- Say I owned Netflix. Mm-hmm. Not outside the realm's possibility. And I come to you and I go, five mil. Make me a one-off show. The two of you's can be anything but I need it in a month what are you making me you're going to make a film you're going to make a documentary we know what you're making game we know show what you're we're making. making stuff already uh, sorry we we're not going to talk making. about any of that but we're not going to fucking tell you no we're not but oh you actually <laughs> are doing a thing we actually uh, are we have uh, a couple uh, of things in the old pipeline yeah. the two of you uh, yeah mm. I would mm. and that was your audition surprise that's why we're here <laughs> we need a train conductor but we so, will definitely get you in yeah. when it's up on its feet. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You want me to audition right now? Yes, please. <laughs> and I don't even know what it. I'm not good an actor. I don't know <laughs> what You're it amazing. is, but I could audition for it. You have this. You have this confidence. Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, it's always raining. <laughs> Anything I'm in, it's always raining a wee bit, but not too much. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> like it's raining. But it's more like uh, it's mist, like a muzzle. Misty, yeah. And I, <laughs> it's me, and I can't really make people out. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you say, "Why was for what?" I think I do it, and I thought, "Dragon, what?" <laughs> <laughs> the right thing is going to come along, isn't it? It is. It's going to yeah. come. Along. That's so versatile. Yeah. Because no, it has to be slightly raining. If they say this is, but a, I mean this the emotion of it is versatile yeah. because I have no idea what's going on in your life whenever you make that face. Yeah, and I'm excited to if find out. If I show up in a scene, <laughs> just, <What? Jesus> <laughs> <laughs> just that. Yeah. There's an actor that does that. That's sort of really breathy. A lot. I mean a lot, but um, I think you would get a part just in sheer confidence. Yeah. And gumption. Yep. You be heard. Where's that gumption guy? Gumption Todd, that's what you call you. I like Gumption Guy. <laughs> gumption Guy. The Gumption Gum, Guy. Gumption Guy Todd. But you know what? You just have that much self and confidence. And that is exactly what you need. Whatever anybody needs to be like, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm going to nail this. You're not getting an R take. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, that's intense. You say self confidence. I think I am humble, but self confidence is definitely <laughs> one of my best qualities. I'm being humble. I'm very humble. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. I, I'm really good at that. You're such a good person. You never talk about it. Uh, yeah. You never talk about yourself. It's mad. And I don't talk about some of the charity work I do too, which is good. Uh, I could just leave all that quiet, you know. And there's so <laughs> much the charity work to talk work. about. You just don't. There's just so Not leave a link much. to it on your page. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. 
Um, I'm doing. Will you just come and see me in there? I'm doing a show in there. Hi. Sure? Yeah. Millennium Hi. Forum. Can I open up for you? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing the Millennium Forum. I know fair play. That's part I mean, of the I'm case. I'm always kind of. I wouldn't say struggle to sell in Derry, but like sometimes you sell well other places. Derry, it's always. And I've been coming up to Derry to do shows since I started. Mm-hmm. There used to be Masons, which is yes. now, like, oh, brickwork yeah. on Magazine Street. Yes. Um, I was going up there for years, and then. The tour shows in Derry always like were great, but the one that always had many people there. And then this year I went, stick a Millennium Forum on for the crack. I fucking do it. And it's going. It's, it's going. As it is. It's going silly. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm, I'm their youth patron as well, up there. Oh, yeah? Aye. It's Who's a great their spot. adult patron? Alicia. <laughs> 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 They're growing up in this relationship. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll be great. I what can we do when we're in Derry? Let, let's make a, a day of it. So hold on, we went Zara. from we were yeah. from Dingle, then we were going over to Krakow, and now we're, we're just going to do day. something in Derry. Yeah, we're doing, we need to be we're back for a coffee. We need to be back for seven for something check. All right, I'm honestly sure. though, we would love to show you around Derry. Yeah. Yes, for that's great. You're not invited, not joking. Yeah, oh. all of these, of course yeah. you are. Go to Nice Center. Nando's Richmond Center. No, no, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go proper Derry. We'll get you. get you a chicken melter. Oh. You get garlic and tobacco onions. I don't know if this is allowed in dairy, but I have a d- dairy allergy. Like, no, I have a dairy allergy, <laughs> not a dairy allergy. <laughs> That's why you haven't done well. Do you actually have a dairy allergy? Yes. Well, so the chicken melter sounds like it might have cheese as part of it. You might not have like the seven o'clock sound suck. No, sounds but like I don't think you're allowed to have like a, an allergy, food allergies and dairy. I don't no, think they like it doesn't. No, I mean vegetarians okay. and stuff. I mean there is definitely spots, but the majority, the girthiness of most menus yeah. are meat, chorizo sauce, cheese. Does have meat. That's why it's so nice with the yeah. cheese and the, no, the like dairy meat. and the. Mm, it's delicious. I like meat. Uh, well, well, meat but there's loads of places. There's loads of healthy places, and there's loads of like a couple of nice Thai places. And there's we're shooting a video with Usher and Ship Key Street. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go out for after the chicken melter or before after chicken melter and then ice cream. Oh, that's part of the video. Oh, Usher eating the chicken melter. God damn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I um, chicken, but okay. Thanks so much for doing the podcast. Both oh, oh, thank, thank you. you. I, I, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. Good crack. I just feel like we're just so comfortable. I will. Shall I stick our tops off? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> well, I'm taking your top off right now for serious. Uh, so, what? I'm taking your top off now. No problem. One handed. <laughs> but you didn't no, lift that, that arm. <laughs> you didn't lift that arm. So was uh, it a one sleeve, sleeveless top or a clear's? No, that's why I'm so good at it. <laughs> it's like a member of steps. <laughs> <laughs> that. See if Dun- has Dungeon Dragons been put out yet? I don't know. If it hasn't, find the whatever email address we sent that to, reshoot it. Me with that's all that was missing. That's it. David Peckham. Maybe and us doing off. this, David Peckham. Yeah. That's In it. the background, a few gasps. <laughs> yeah. Should we record the podcast now? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate every time us. you come on. Thank you so much for coming on for the first thank time. Thank you, Shane. Cheers. Um, I appreciate it. Keep the nostrils small. Mm. Keep them Keep small them and small. insignificant. No shame in it. No shame. <laughs> no shame in a small nostril. You have a wee small nostril, do you? Put your I head was back. Wait, I was waiting Here's for you to say. No, I don't want to put it back because then I look, sometimes you look like a wee rat. No. Same. <laughs> from a certain angle, do, do, I look do, like do, a wee I rat. Look, I have a bit of a rodent vibe do. from that angle. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a wee oh, nose, don't. don't you? Have you ever done the thing where you um, draw on your chin? Yes. You do, you smile, I think not in a while. Not the bum yeah. crack in your nose and you uh, do that wee... Uh, okay. No, I'm not. Do I like the upside. The upside down chin's always. Uh, always gets Guys, I'm me. serious. This is this is its own thing. The three tiny noses, uh. pointy nostrils. The three tiny we noses. We could do a wee show abroad. just wearing noses abroad, and we could use TikTok bo- boxes as toilets for them. <laughs> Loved up a wee <laughs> flat. Why do you need a toilet for your nose? <laughs> just blow out your nose on the you TikTok what? box. You should have got an operation I'm on your nose. I'm so creative for this now, aren't I? Aye, this is it. Uh, yeah. The three tiny noses. We meet other people abroad. The three, yeah. t- the three tiny, tiny, noses. tiny noses. We go on the hunt of the world. Tiny noses. Tiny noses. No, because no, we could. It could get weird. Look, I'm really wrecking now. Whenever I was in Dublin. <laughs> and this isn't funny, so you might want to put your serious hats on, guys. There, <laughs> <laughs> there was people. There was a woman on the street, um, and she had no nose. I'm not even joking, and it was terrifying. And I feel really sorry. <laughs> you should probably stop laughing. You're going to hell. Yeah. You're going to go to Catholic hell. If you keep laughing. <laughs> so fuck up. There was a point in my life that I wished I had no nose since I know, but to be fair, if like, you see it, in real so life, if I'd have seen her at a certain so point in my one. life, I would have went. Fucking hell, I wish I was her. No, but here's so why. it's all perception, really. It is, but yeah. my perception of a woman with just a hole in the middle of her face was terrifying. And I yeah. felt really bad because obviously that's something that's awful, awful yeah. happened to her. Yeah. So I think we should probably steer clear of that in case that's the end result. And we can't yeah. show that on TV because that's fucking Well, let's fun. go looking for the biggest nose the ever. The biggest nose. The biggest nose. Yes. 
Only hang someone off it. Yeah. And then we can time us how long it I stays. I think I'm going a different direction with this. I'm more Andy making characters from our noses and our noses but doing that's different activities. Two. As I said, with the tac tac box and the toilet, the I want to see them doing something. I want to see them do gayer. Uh, we're not doing lazy noses. Uh, we're that's not just two. looking at people's noses. It's our noses becoming a character themselves. Individual noses and what I they're about. I think whatever yous are already in production with. <laughs> Bennett. <laughs> Bennett, because it's yeah. not going to be better than this. It's, it's not. This. It's not. Five yeah. million from Netflix, we would turn this into a great show. Great yeah. show. The three tiny noses on the road. Nose, no difference. And then the difference between, oh my God, oh my God. That's so weird, I thought it was the same there now. It always has. But no one else would need to end on. <laughs> this is mental. Either season two or season three yeah. is going to be um, animals' noses. We get dogs involved because yeah. everybody loves dogs. Yeah. yeah. Get dogs and they're involved. wee watering noses. And they're wee gorgeous noses. <laughs> they always have people. wee wet noses. And do you know that's, that that's a sign actually. that you have a sick dog if he's a dry nose or yeah. she has a dry nose? If your dog has a dry, no- dry nose, for anybody out there that's watching it, you need to take it straight to the vet because it's sick. There's something wrong with it. It could be something really serious. Dog cancer. That's actually true. <laughs> That's actually true. It is true for some. It's true. The Do you look like should pain? always be wet having this conversation? No, it's just you've wrapped this up with the woman in Dublin with no nose and dog cancer. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we need to do this. We, we need all to know. We need to end with the theme tune for the. Boom. <laughs> Please don't do it. Yeah, it's so bad. Um, okay, I cool. love this game. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to, what is it? What's we what? should use our noses. No, only let the noses then go. Yeah. Well, you should just breathe and then somebody should like, do you know we can edit through like, your nose? Hmm? And just have all that breathing. You I can only mouth breathe for auditions. <laughs> Strictly, legally. Do you know, what, that's, that's how I used to try and get away with underage drinking when I was younger. Only drink through your nose? Only. <laughs> when I came out, my mum would ask me to smell my breath. I thought it was dead smart and I would just go, <laughs> I breathed out my nose and she would be like are you fucking serious here and I'd do it again like the brazenness yeah. I used to breathe on the way she ever really really I- drunk on Dobby Kitty I was like she really had to stop herself from slapping me I'm not drunk <laughs> <laughs> and it would still smell like drink because it's still uh, coming out of your body and I was still wild well, cute there's going to be people watching this this weekend doing that <laughs> There's going to be teenagers I'm giving ideas to. Yeah. Uh, I don't even done it to my friends, man, one time as well, which was far worse. Always know. And then I told it on them, was the end up of that. So mama, her mama said, Seriously, do you really think I'm stupid? And I felt guilty for the nose trick that I admitted the whole thing to her. I said, yeah. I beware, we were drinking up the clan, we were drinking Frosty Jacks. This is who bought it first, told the whole story. You're a wee tight. I absolutely tight. Had no friends for a good couple of weeks. You didn't deserve friends, friends after that. that. That's a I disgrace. Couldn't, I couldn't lie when she asked me again. I could breathe through my nose and her face, but I couldn't lie to her face. Yeah. <laughs> That was a step too far. That's we draw a line morally. Uh, Go get uh, hammered in the field with your yeah, friends. Yeah, breathing. Breathe out of no- nose. Oh, your breathe. nose onto something. Nose breathe. Yeah. But then when it comes to lying about Absolutely the entire not. night, like, no, that's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line now. Even bringing on the person who bought you the drink. Uh-uh. Also known as the oldest looking friend or the friend with the biggest boobs. Mackers. <laughs> <laughs> Mackers. And me, me and Mackers. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. There we yeah. go. No, that's. <laughs> I think we've covered everything. Yeah. I feel like we have. Everything. I mean, we started with, with vaginal depth, didn't we? <laughs> As well. We started with that vaginal depth. Yeah, that was yeah. even before we recorded. That was even before. It was, wasn't it? You said that before we recorded, didn't you? We did, eh? Yeah, thank God. I'm raging too. that the camera was there the whole time. I don't think this is a good idea. And I made a great joke when you said vaginal depth, and I said, is he not the guy that's on trial? I made a, a Johnny depth joke, and it didn't, uh, it didn't even prob- in the room. It you didn't know what? Go. We're probably glad that wasn't recorded. Yeah. Just probably that's. But it was amber haired. Oh! <laughs> She Thanks. won the podcast. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing hey, the podcast. I was just going to ask just before we wrap this up, right? Shane, I seen that you have a sticker on your laptop. Yes. Do you have any spare stickers? Because I collect stickers. I also got used gifts. Thank you. you can have a sticker oh, for my boyfriend too. Yep. Thank you. I haven't got a boyfriend, but can I have two stickers? <laughs> <laughs> you think this is how you're going to get one? <laughs> Walking around Derry. Just that. Two Does nuts. anybody want a sticker? Or a gear friend? <laughs> <laughs> one gear, girl, one sticker. <laughs> Curly hair and a bad attitude. I'm right here. And a great nose. Okay, Curly no. hair and a bad attitude. I love that. I know. Do you know we Michael Jackson nose? Mm. No. I, I, I don't got, know. They, and do they? you know what's great about it? That you kept your nose out of the cup. Exactly. Your nose looks tidy in that even. Uh, Why I don't know. you give yourself a more masculine nose? You look like a wee trophy, more don't ma- you? I don't. Why well, I don't have a feminine nose. <laughs> so the podcast was great today. Here's, here, yourself. I got you guys gifts. Thank you. At the shop. I'm angry. Sorry, look at me. <laughs> so greedy. Oh, what? I love Kinder Buenos. I'm glad I didn't get that. Were these gifts or are you just trying to get rid of Thank now? you. Gifts right or wrong? Thank you. Um, thank you. Great shot. Do you get any of them cups? Or? 
Do you want a, do you want a <laughs> mug? Do you want a mug? Uh, but what's that going behind you as well? What's going here? A razor. What? That's for your balls. Oh, this might, yeah, that's my uh, mask. It me for 20% off free shipping. Um, <laughs> what else do we have? There's a thing called the weed whacker, which is for uh, nose hair, but obviously you just wouldn't even be able, it wouldn't. No, it's I only do. About I've got a nose hair I know, but you wouldn't get that up. That's Why? what I mean. I, I, oh, because it's too big. But uh, you, uh, fair enough. It is too big. Most noses it will work for, just to let people know, too, we for 20% off. I need the wee shipping. thing that the dentist uses on your teeth, don't you, for yeah, my nose? for your nose. Uh, mm. We can make that happen. Uh-huh. Get in touch with the dentist. <laughs> I'll wear a white coat this man when I'm doing it, just to really get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, All right, guys. To leave. All right, thank We're you. We're gonna wrap it up. Bye. We're I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sweating as well. I'm sweating too. It's roasting in here. Yeah. Thank so you. Will you turn off the camera before I get off his seat? We got a new. Oh, <laughs> That's a clip. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> <laughs>